Hi Warrior, it's Trapsin here and welcome back to our adventures on the Hardcore Human Warrior. Last episode, we checked out the launch of Classic Hardcore World of Warcraft. It was a lot of fun. There's a bunch of humans here. There still is. It's currently still day one, guys. A couple hours in, I took a little bit of a break. And now we're going to continue questing here in Northshire Abbey. And hopefully today we can finish all the quests in the zone. Greetings. Investigate Echo Ridge. Travesty, my scouts tell me that the kobold infestation is larger than we had thought. A group of kobold workers is camped near the Echo Ridge mine to the north. Go to the mine and remove them. We know there are at least 10. 10. Kill them. See if there are more. Then report back to me. Simple letter. I was asked to bring this to your attention as soon as you return from the kobold camps, Travisine. It appears to be a letter sealed with the insignia of Lane, our local warrior trainer. I wouldn't hesitate to read it before you go about any other business here in the Abbey. Be careful. Let's check out this letter, guys. Tell me, warrior, have you heard an orc scream yet? Perhaps defended your home from gnolls as they seek to tear your throat out? Yeah, sounds harsh, doesn't it? Well, you're going to need my help if you want to protect your loved ones. You'll find me inside the Abbey in Northshire. My knowledge doesn't come cheap, but if you're experienced enough, I can train you in a number of styles and moves that will help you fight off the threats to Stormwind and beyond. Lane Bashir, Warrior Trainer. All right, nice. So we already had a chat with him. We learned a couple abilities last episode. Battle Shout, Charge, and Rend. What can I do for you? Look forward to checking those abilities out. Let's get rid of some junk here. And I guess we can get rid of the letter too since we already read it. Do we get rid of the letter or do I have to... Is that a quest that... Do I have to talk to him? Oh, crap. Oh, man, this quest. Need help? I think I need the letter. I gotta turn it into him. All right, let's go. I'll turn it in. You need something for the alliance. Ah, you got my letter, Travis. Seen good. There's an influx of warriors in Elwyn recently, which is good for Stormwind, but bad for the kobolds and Defias in the area. Be careful. Get yourself squared away. Learn the layout of the land and come back to me whenever you need training. I'll be here night or day. The Knights of the Silver Hand have done well in making this place fairly safe but as you meet the other citizens i think you'll find they all have problems they could use some help with help a warrior can give them good luck Turn all right what can I do for you? there we go so we can't learn any more abilities and now we will go slay the kobold workers There's a paladin trying to do duels to the death out here before I start the episode. Not sure if anyone took him up on that offer. And here we go. We're going to go deal with the warriors. I mean the kobolds. <laughs> and I'm kind of leaning towards not following the hardcore add-on like add rules. For the community rules. It would be cool to, you know, be able to use the auction house. And another reason why I kind of don't want to do, like, follow the rules. Because we've already done that before. On the rogue. So, I don't really see a reason in, like, you know, doing it again. It is a fun experience, though. But I really want my mount at, uh... Oh, we got him. Nice. Yeah, I want my mount at level... Level, um, 40. Would be good to get. And if we can play the auction house, then... Should be able to get it by then. Oh, look at that spawn right there. That is brutal. Good thing these guys are like... You know, they don't attack right when they spawn. 
he is. If that all spawned on you, that's pretty scary. Nice, we got that one too. Friend is really good for kiting. See what we'll do here is put Rend up on them. Get this buff up too. We'll Rend and then we'll run away wait for our swing timer to come back. And then while you're running away, they're taking, you know, dot damage. We haven't used charge yet. Let's charge in. That's a laborer. A little too dangerous in there. Let's find a kobold we can charge. It's usually some up here. Yeah, you can tell, like, just after, like, an hour and a half, people seem to be, you know, moving on from this zone. I bet the Defias Pillager area, though, is probably uh, a little packed. Good old charge. That's a level five human warrior. We'll be there soon. Gotta love charge. Awesome ability. Need hamstring though. Doesn't work as well without hamstring. That's what they call it, hamstring kiting. So what you do is you put Rend up, you put Hamstring up, and then you're able to, like, kite them, and they're not really able to attack you as fast as they want to. Some classes are a little slower than you, though. So you can kite without Hamstring against some classes, or some mobs, I should say. Come here. Gotta watch out charging in like that, though. Could get us in a little bit of trouble. And there we go. It's ten workers down. Head back to the Abbey. Turn this quest in. Let's see what else we get. Maybe this quest will get us level... close to level five. Got a little bit of junk as well. Do we get any upgrades? Does not look like it. Uh, yeah, no, no upgrades. Got some decent gear right now. It's all mail. Hey there. We have some leather pieces. Have a good one. Life be with you. Light bless you. I don't like hearing of all these kobolds in our mine. No good can come from this. Here, take this as payment, and when you're ready, speak to me again. I'd like you to go back into the mines one more time. Go with honor, friend. Your previous investigations are proof that Echo Ridge needs purging. Return to the mine and help clear it of kobolds. Waste no time traversing the longer the kobolds are left unmolested in the mine. <laughs> the deeper a foothold they gain in Northshire. Bless you. All right. Can't leave those uh, those kobolds unmolested. So let's head back to the mine here, and we will deal with the laborers. Could be a tough one though. They're level five in there. I think we'll be okay. some of these vermin to the mine here. The thing I should do is get auto loot going. They've changed the options though. It's not what it used to be. Auto loot, there we go. Should have put that on last episode. But now we got it. 
Now we're going in. Now let's see if these guys attack you right away. They seem to. They seem to be okay here. But caves and mines are pretty scary. Is that a dwarf? Wow. Nice. Seeing a dwarf in, in Elwyn Forest isn't that big of a deal because they just take the tram, right? But that night elf, that, that was interesting. Because I'm not too sure how the heck he would get here. Like the only way is from like... Uh, you go to Manithil Harbor, and then you get to take like a journey to uh, Iron Forge, and then you take the tram. I'm not. I, it's crazy that guy was able to do that. Probably knows a path that I don't know about. I was so st like scared taking my rope from like Manithil Harbor to Iron Forge. I, Pretty much stealthed almost the entire way. There we go, guys. Level 5. Took us 1 hour and 37 minutes. That's our total time played so far. We were AFK for quite a bit. We'll be AFK quite a bit in this playthrough, so... The... Slash played won't be that accurate, but it'll be pretty accurate. Didn't want to log out, so I, just in case, like, uh, there's queue times, but I doubt there's queue times. The hardcore WoW well, is popular, but I don't know if it's, like, as popular as, like, 2019 Classic WoW was. So we shouldn't see queue times. And two servers per region is pretty good. A lot of uh, a lot of players in here. We should, we should try to find like a spot. Slay laborers. There's one right there. But yeah, if we uh, another reason why I really don't want to follow the rules too, like the hardcore community rules, is um. Because it'd be cool to group up with people, man. Just out in the world. I didn't really get to do that on my rogue. It was fun, though. Because, like, you know, you do those challenging elite fights. But, um... Kind of prefer... Kind of prefer just to, like, you know, do group play stuff. It'd be kind of fun. I think this, that's what this is all about, you know what I mean? If it's your first character... Yeah, you know, following the rules, is it's cool and all, but... I think it's more fun when you don't. Just play it like it's like regular Warcraft. If you die, you die. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll probably just... You know... Play it like it's just regular World of Warcraft. We won't really follow any rules and... We get the warrior to 60, we get the warrior to 60. Damn it. We didn't get to charge fast enough. Where he sniped that kobold from me. Yeah, if you guys see me in the world, feel free to say hi. Maybe we'll do a quest. Who knows? Kind of cool. Yeah, it'd be cool to tank some dungeons, too. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Gotta be careful in those dungeons, though. Every pull I would do is gonna be a ranged pull, like, 100%. <laughs> Won't be charging into any of these pulls like this. I think I need to remember is keep battle shout up. Could get a weak aura going that shows like it's like down here when battle shouts did like needs to go up. 
Be a good way to remind me instead of having to look up here in the top right corner. Oh, there we go, it's 12 kobolds down. Happy I took a break. It seems to be a lot more chill in this area. I'll be honest, like, I think when the, the Hardcore Community Season of Mastery server was up, I think that was, like, I think that had more, it just feels like it had more people. Like, it was packed. There were so many Night Elves in Telgrasil, it was ridiculous. This has been pretty chill so far. Supposedly this one, this is going to be like the most packed zone, I would assume, because a lot of people play human, right? Human's like a great race to play if your alliance has like a as many classes, you know, as basically all the melee ones, like paladin, rogue, warrior. What can I do for you, or the alliance? Once again, you have earned my respect and the gratitude of the Stormwind army. There may yet be kobolds in the mine, but I will marshal others against them. We have further tasks for you. All right, so what should we take? The boots? One armor on that. The boots are pretty big armor upgrades, like 10 armor. Yeah, we're probably gonna take the male boots. Be careful. Report to Goldshire. The Travisine, you are a warrior with proven interest in the security of Northshire. You are now tasked with the protection of the surrounding Elwyn Forest. If you accept this duty, then I have prepared papers that must be delivered to Marshal Dugan in Goldshire. Goldshire lies along the southern road past the border gates. Be careful. All right, so off to Goldshire. We will go. Not right now, though. We still have a couple more quests to do. Gotta deal you. with the Defias Pillages. Looks like we didn't acquire any more training yet. Thought we might have got an ability from hitting level 5, but I guess not. Alright, off we go. Let's get some 12 red burlap bandanas. Classic WoW is so chill, man. That's one thing I love about it. I really hope we don't die. I hope we go all the way. Defias Thug. So these guys don't mess around. They're red, right? We don't have a gun. So... They'll chase us down if we get a little too close. Things are getting a little scary. Let's make sure we have battle showed up. There we go, we got our first red bandana. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be too bad over here. There's clearly a decent amount of people. But it's not packed to the point where you can't, you know, fight mobs. That's what you want to do at the beginning of any server. You either fall behind the pack or you get ahead. I think we've uh, clearly fallen behind. And there's uh, Garrick B Padfoot. Gotta watch out for him. We're tanky, man. We're barely taking any damage. That's the beauty of a shield. We do more damage as arms. But if we went arms, tanking would be a little bit more challenging. I did tank as an arms warrior. Like an arms spec while I was leveling up. 
in classic and, and we did dungeons perfectly fine because you're you know you're able to use a shield and a sword as an arms warrior there's a cool weapon called ravager that you can get in the scarlet monastery armory get the name of the boss can't believe i forgot the name but um i used to ravager tank on my warrior, my orc warrior back in the day, which was a lot of fun. So what you do is, with the Ravager, there's a chance to proc um, this ability that, like, just whirlwinds you, and you do, like, crazy AoE damage. And as when you play Horde, you play with Shamans, right? And Shamans give you Wind Fury, so you have a pretty good chance of proccing it. And, um, yeah, you just do tons of AoE with, like, a group of full of uh, shamans and warriors. It's a lot of fun. Be awesome to get a Ravager. I'd probably switch to arms if you got Ravager. That'd be so cool. One thing about Ravager, though, that kind of sucks, is, um... It's, it's... Like, against one target, like a single target, it's terrible. Like, it's not very good at all. There's so much rage right now. The reason why it's not good is because, like, you do a you do this, like, AoE attack, and, like, you're only attacking one target. That's why you want to have the Whirlwind Axe. I think you can get that on as a human, right? Probably, obviously probably try to go for that axe. You gotta craft it, though. I think there's a quest to do it. I haven't done it in a very long time. But it's a great axe to get. Do a lot of damage with it. But I think we will most likely... Stay as a prot warrior for for a while, and then eventually we'll switch. I think to arms once we get you know some decent gear and, and a good two-hander. Also, having uh, our engineering up with target dummies will probably be something we will want before we go arms. I love warriors too. Like if you if you have full rage, like you can just do insane damage, man. Like you can just keep going and going. You're like a train. Just never stop. Damn, we should have got that. Warlock just got that. Yeah, we're gonna fight two here, dude. Let's see if we can handle that. I think we can. I'll put Rend on him. Yeah, we're a tank, man. We can probably handle three mobs. A lot of cool um, combos you can play too while you're leveling up. Oh, damn it, our stuff's full already. Marshall McBride documents, we'll read those later. So is that a nice back piece? Five armor? Probably just end up selling it. There's got to be something cheaper than this, though. I want the food, though, because we want to use the food eventually. I don't know. We'll just leave it on the ground. Let's worry about XP. It's not a big deal. It's... I 
Yeah, I've made the decision. We're, prob we're probably not going to follow the hardcore rules. We're going to use the auction house. And we're going to, you know, group up with players if we want to. Decision has been made. This guy's just ha hanging out the road <laughs> This makes it more chill. I don't have to worry about gold as much. But you st we still have to worry about gold. Like, making gold's not going to be easy. Just gotta get lucky with the BOE item. <laughs> you know, there could be other playthroughs. I can maybe do, like, a, a, another hardcore challenge in the future where we... All the rules. Nice, every odds 12. 12 bandages. Or, there you go. Bandanas, I mean. Little boost here. Yeah. Yeah. Kite him a little bit. And we will be holding on to items that give us spirit. Any any item that gives us spirit, we will most likely try to hold on to. Because I will be crafting, uh, hold, like trying. I, I will want to have a spirit set in our bags if we can handle it. And what that uh, what that that settle be for is just to like so we can, can get our health up fast. While we're traveling around, because like if you have the the add-on item rack, you can just switch sets with just the click of a button. So we might we're going to be on the lookout for gear with spirit on it. That's because spirit gives you health health regen. It's a pretty damn good stat, especially as a warrior, because as a warrior you usually have to. Uh, I haven't put these boots on. So warrior you usually have to, you know, sit down and eat. That takes up a lot of time. Clean up these items, there we go. See you later. So spirit set kind of reduces that time by a little bit. How are you? And you can, you know, save on food. Have you gathered those bandanas for me yet? See you around. Back with some bandanas, I see. Stormwind Army appreciates your help. Oh, we're going to take this sword. Pretty big upgrade here, the Militia Sword. Have a good one. Millie Osworth. Safe travels. You've shown yourself a dependable warrior, Travesine. Dependable and not afraid to get your hands dirty, eh? I have a friend, Millie Osworth, who's in some trouble. She's over with her wagon on the other side of the abbey near the stable. I'm sure she could use a pair of hands like yours. See you later. Bounty on Garrick Padfoot. Garrick Padfoot, a cutthroat who's plagued our farmers and merchants for weeks, was seen at a shack near the vineyards. The vineyards. Which lies east of the abbey and across the bridge. Bring me the villain's head and earn his bounty, but be wary, Travisine. Garrick has gathered a gang of thugs around him. He will not be an easy man to reach. See you around. All right, so we'll go say hi to Millie over here. And then we'll go get Garrick. Oh, Deputy Wilhelm. Willem told you to speak with me. He's a brave man and always willing to help, but his duties keep him stuck at Northshire Abbey, and I'm afraid the problem I have today is beyond him. Perhaps you can help me. See you later. A gang of, brig a gang of brigands, the Defias, moved into Northshire vineyards while I was harvesting. 
I reported it to the Northshire Guards, and they assured me they take care of things, but I'm afraid for my crop of grapes. If the Defias don't steal them, then I fear that our guards will trample them when they chase away the thugs. Please, you must help me. I gathered most of the grapes into buckets, but I left them in the vineyards to the southeast. Bring me those crates. Save my harvest. See you around. All right, Millie, let's go get those grapes. Work, work. couple of quests left and then we will be off to gold share I guess and then we can start you know picking up professions like you know mining first aid skinning whatever we want we'll probably go with uh, first aid cooking fishing mining and engineering that'll be the plan Wow, takes so long. <laughs> Go, like, pick these up. Like, if this was, uh, retail, it'd just be like, pick it up. It'd be so fast. <laughs> it's like classic is cool. It's a little bit slow paced, more chill. It's awesome how they have both versions of the game going at the moment. This is awesome. This hardcore server is going to be up for... I don't want to... I can't really say forever, but it's going to be up for a very damn long time, I think. As long as, you know, Blizzard and Activision consider World of Warcraft a game worth, you know, funding. It's one thing I always wonder about is, like, how long is World of Warcraft going to, you know, be alive for. I think if they ever shut down the game, though, there, there would always be a person that creates a private server, so I think it'll be up for quite a while. I think there's, as long as there's still, like, millennials around, World of Warcraft will be around. This was a you know, pretty popular childhood game for, for many millennials. And tons of, like, even older generations, like Generation uh, X, the ones older than us, like, they, they probably got to play the game more, actually. Because they were in, like, a in their prime gaming years, I guess you could say. When World of Warcraft first came out. Okay, so did we get... Yeah, we only still need to get a little bit more from Millie's Harvest. There's uh, Garrett Cloud put there. He's level 5. Let's go get his head. Probably eat up a bit. No! Right, we'll target that. Thank you. Invite. Oh, see that? Like, it's like everybody. Everybody's just, you know, they're, no one's following the rules, man. I guess we're gonna have to wait. It's too bad. We got a bunch of people here. Yeah! What a savage. Here, I'll invite this guy. I'm breaking the rules. There you go, buddy. The rules have been broken. You helped somebody out. <laughs> Fellow warrior. There we go. That's it. We've officially broken the rules. 
character is now, I don't know. It's whatever. Like, it's so lame, like, to say that to somebody, right? Like, nah, man, not inviting you. <laughs> Doing this challenge. It's just fine, but I'd feel bad, like, not inviting him. That was such an epic charge, though. Like, what a snipe. Like, we just went in there, like, boom, to give me that. <laughs> Day All right, you. do you have my harvest, Travisine? Safe travels. Oh, thank you, Travisine. You saved my harvest, and I hope you showed a few of those defias that they can't cause trouble around here. We might be short on guards these days, but we're lucky to have heroes like you to protect us. Have a good one. Now that my crop is saved, take this great manifest to Brother Niels. He manages the store of food and drink in Northshire, and I'm sure he'll be delighted to hear that he has fresh grapes. You'll find Brother Niels in the Abbey, in the Bell Tower, where he likes to taste his wine. Safe travels. Yeah, let's go find him. We are level six, guys. How about that? This guy already has a two. He's rolling with the two-hander. What a savage. This abbey is all, it, it always confuses the crap out of me, man. And we're probably gonna run around here for a little bit. <laughs> I don't know where this guy is, I assume he's just up top. There he is, he likes to drink his wine up here. You need something? Send. What can I do for you? Is this a note? See you later. Brother Niels, my grapes are saved. Travisine, the bearer of this manifest, braved my thug-infested vineyard and gathered the grapes that I could not. Although the Defias still roam across the river, nearly my entire crop has been salvaged. You may add a full load of grape bushels to your stores. May the light protect us, Millie Hello. Osworth. You look to be in fine spirits. Come, have a seat have a drink safe travels let's see here oh my millie grapes have been saved when she told me that the brigands overran her vineyards i nearly despaired but my faith in the light did not waver and through your bravery we now have grapes for more wine may the light bless you travisine and keep you safe guys right, so we got a mail belt here nice pick that up have a good one All right, so let's head down here. We'll turn in, I think, the final quest. Do a little jump down. Took a little bit of damage there. Got to watch out for the fall damage. It's a rough way to die. You need something? Did you find Garrick's shack? Are we finally free of that villain? See you later. Ah, you caught him. You've done Elwyn a great service and earned a nice bounty. Okay. There's not really good, many good things here. We'll take the leather. It's probably worth the most. Safe travels. All right, so let's go sell some junk, and then we will. Uh, you need something? Make our way out of here. It's our old sword. See you around. Let's check out the snow while we run. Report kobolds. The activity of kobolds has increased in the vicinity of Northshire Valley. They camp north of the abbey and within the Echo Ridge Mine in alarming numbers. I have marshaled paladins, warriors, and other local folk to aid me in ridding us of the vermin. This progresses well, and I will update as needed. Report thieves. More alarming than the kobolds. A human gang of thieves has 
merged in the valley. They wear red bandanas and call themselves the Brotherhood. This level of organization may lead to trouble, both here in all of Elwyn Forest. We have identified one of their leaders, one Garrick Padfoot, and hope to bring him to justice soon. Port Wolves. There has been an increase in reported animal attacks in Northshire. Egan believes the wolves in the valley were scared here from Duskwood. Although the wolves rarely hunt human prey, the sheer number of them has caused some incidents with farmers, and many livestock have gone missing. Commendation. The bearer of these documents is to be awarded deputy status with the Stormwind Army. Having served Northshire with eagerness and distinction, I am confident you will find the person useful in Elwyn Forest. Signed, Marshal Douglas McBride, Stormwind Army, Northshire. Good day to you. Right, here we go. Falcon Ice and Strider. Rest and relaxation. Every adventurer should rest when exhaustion sets in. And there is no finer place to get rest and relaxation than at the Lion's Pride Inn. My best friend, Innkeeper Farley, runs the Lion's Pride. If you tell him I sent you, he may give you the special discounted rates on food and drink. To find the Lion's Pride Inn, travel south along the road from here. You can't miss it. Have a good one. All right, so here we go. Off to the Lion's Pride's Inn. Gotta watch out out here. It's not safe. People are not so nice in Elwyn Forest. But I think we'll make it to Goldshire just fine. We also have to watch out for trolls while we're leveling up. Probably won't see many of them at the beginning, but during the later levels there probably will be horde rogues. That, uh... Let's see if we can... What they'll do is, like, say this is a mob we want to target. And we haven't targeted them yet. Like, they'll just be stealth here. And then you go up and you target them instead. You attack them. And then the horde player can now attack you. Hey, what the heck? Hey. How did he get there? Hey. You. I'm gonna whisper this person. How did you get to... Elwyn? As a level two mammoth night elf. How did you survive the walk from Manitil Harbor? It's the second night elf I've seen. <laughs> it's just a yo. <laughs> so you swim. Oh, for real? Oh, true. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Okay, so there you go. You swim along the coast. All the way to Westfall. Okay, so there we go, guys. The more you know. Look up a video if you want. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Awesome. Never knew that. Yeah, I was like, how the heck did they survive that? <laughs> they just swim. You know, the night elves, they just jump in the water and they just start swimming. That's cool. Never knew about that path. Well, now we know. I'm like, how the heck are the night elves here? <laughs> All right, Keeper Farley, make this in our home. See you around. I supply only the rest and bit. relaxation. Rest and relaxation for the tired and cold. Good the... day to you. Safe travels. That's our motto. Please take a seat by the fire and rest your weary bones. Would you like to try a sample of some of our fine food and drink? We don't have enough room. Looking for something specific? You must choose a reward. Okay, we're taking the pumpkins. See you later. This is a first aid guy. Cobalt candles. Not bad. I guess we'll turn in the other quest here. King's honor, friend. Hack. It's hard enough keeping order around here without all these new troubles popping up. I hope you have good news, Travis. You. you have word from McBride. Northshire is a garden compared to Elwyn Forest. But I wonder what Marshal McBride has to report. Here, let me have his papers. Honor, well, it says here that you've been awarded acting 
Deputy status with the Stormwind Marshals. Congratulations and good luck. Be careful. Keeping well met. Go with honor, friend. For the Alliance. Elwyn safe is no picnic. What with most of the army busy doing who knows what for who knows which noble. It's hard to keep track of politics in these dark days. Life bless you. Okay. Be careful. So there we go. We'll put on this shield. The pikeman shield, 55 armor. Pretty big upgrade over our, the last shield we had. What are you Sell this shield for? here to Brog Hamfest. Life bless you. We'll try to find the first aid trainer. That would be good to pick up, I think. There's the mage trainer. Physician. Hello. I can train you in the first aid techniques. Apprentice first aid. There we See go, guys. Later. I wonder if there's a cook around here. There's the rogue trainer. This guy's just hanging out. Probably in here is where the cook would be. How are you? I can teach you how to cook. Apprentice cook. Safe travels. And then the fisherman, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Is that guy fishing already? No, oh, it's a staff. HC Elite. Looks like there's uh guilds going on here. Not too sure if we'll what, what guild we'll join. I'll probably just join any guild. Bunch of people aren't really in guilds. Just a couple though. This person's in the device brotherhood. <laughs> That's funny. All right, guys. Well, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Next episode, we will continue our journeys in Elwyn Forest. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Mm -hmm.